As you know, Black Lightning, Jefferson, has put a priority on mental health. He's asked McGann and I to check in periodically with every member of the League, team, and outsiders. So, I'm checking in. How are you doing, Violet? I know it's been a year, but how are you managing your feelings about Brion? I do not believe I fully understand my feelings about Brion, even now. Truthfully, I am still mystified by his choices. It makes me sad, and it makes me consider my own choices, and how those choices may inform my journey. Well, what choices are we talking about? Islam, for one. Gabrielle's faith was very important to her. So important, I cannot bring myself to remove the hijab she wore. I think... I think I need to explore whether or not Islam holds meaning for me, as it did for her. Lapti and Garfield, I know you're on Mars now, and I don't know if you'll get this message before you return, but I thought, well, I miss you. I guess I've been missing you for a while, <laughs> since before you left. I know you were busy running the Outsiders, and I know how important that is to you, or, or no, I mean how important it is, period. And I know I've been busy as well. <laughs> The refugee crisis, all these people fleeing Markovia, flooding into Vlatova, and it's so hard to tell whether their concerns are justified. I don't know. And King Brion has refused any parley. I wish my father were alive to handle this. I wish he were alive to give me a hug. I wish you were here to give me a hug. Esmi Lutevi. Esmi Lutevi Garfield. will be okay, Lois. I trust him and McGann and Gar to handle whatever comes their way. Plus, the Javelin will be here soon to take us to Mars to help. John and I might even get there in time for the wedding. No, oh, I miss you and Johnny, too. Looking down at you both right now, actually. No, I am not on the watchtower just to avoid diaper duty. I... Well, yeah, he's taking his time potty trading, but Iris said that's perfectly normal. Especially for boys. Hmm? <laughs> he escaped his diaper again? <laughs> you found poop on the ceiling? No, Kryptonian poop does not defy gravity. It... But if his powers are awakening, if he's learning to hover... Wait, I heard crying. Is he crying? Is he cranky? Lois, his eyes, are they red? Glowing red? No? Did you say no? Lois, you're breaking up. Lois. Lois, can you hear me? Lois! Cyborg, I need a boom tube! Now! I see a beautiful city and a brilliant people rising from this abyss. And in their struggles to be truly free, in their triumphs and defeats, through long years to come, I see the evil of this time, and of the previous time of which this is the natural birth, gradually making expiation for itself and wearing out. I see the lives for which I lay down my life, peaceful, useful, prosperous and happy. I see that I hold a sanctuary in their hearts, and in the hearts of their descendants, generations hence, I see her, an old woman, weeping for me on the anniversary of this day. It is a far, far better thing that I do than I have ever done. It is a far, 
far better rest that I go to than I have ever known. Charles Dickens, A Tale of Two Cities. The unicorn looked dreamily at Alice and said, Talk, child. Alice could not help her lips curling up into a smile as she began. Do you know, I always thought unicorns were fabulous monsters, too. I never saw one alive before. Well, now that we have seen each other, said the unicorn, if you'll believe in me, I'll believe in you. Is that a bargain? Lewis Carroll, through the looking glass, and what Alice found there. Her decision had been indicated in an instant, but it had been made after days and nights of anguished deliberation. She had known she would be asked. She had decided what she would answer, and, without the slightest hesitation, she had moved her hand to the right. The question of her decision is one not to be lightly considered, and it is not for me to presume to set myself up as the one person able to answer it. And so I leave it with all of you. Which came out of the open door? The lady? Or the tiger? Frank R. Stockton. The lady or the tiger? There is no greater agony than bearing an untold story inside you. Maya Angelou, I Know Why the Caged Bird Sings. Lieutenant Dear Chow, reroute power to the command council and use the last of our beryllium crystals to boost our taser beams. We may be a billion light years from home and stuck in the middle of a clammy on civil war, but the crew of the engager does not know how to quit. We'll get Captain Bender back and take down that zombie cyborg Ensign Valiant. Cause face it, I didn't journey all the way from Mars only to cut and run. And I bet you didn't trade an easy life on Clemulon Prime just to bail either. Doesn't matter how many friends we've lost or how many ships they throw at us. We don't give up on the mission, and we don't give up on each other. Now fire, taser, one! Men's Project Lifeboat. Send boom tubes to every member of the light and anyone they designate. Offer the same courtesy to Raish and his family. I doubt he'll accept, but make the offer. Secure our operations in Markovia and United Relasia. Transport the entire contents of my history cave from beneath Wheaton Peak. 
and bring all Cybacks aboard. Anything and everything of value must be transferred off Earth to the War World. Until we see how this chaotic little drama ends. The stranger had the right idea. We're in a crisis situation. Again. If we make it out of this, we can't rely on another villain like Wizard to come through for us. Jeff, I think we have to start thinking about organizing a true Justice League reserves system. <sighs> Unfortunately, I have the feeling we're going to need it more and more in the days to come. Well, I've been counseling a lot of them, on and off, for the last ten years. When they first told me their story, I could hardly believe it. But somehow they had my private number, and a mystic reference from what was then an impossibly adult version of your daughter. Plus, they told me things, gave me foreknowledge, which I couldn't possibly share. Until now. Penny graduates college next week. She's an engineer, wants to build safer bridges. And Charlie, he moved to Atlanta, but he still drives a school bus. Frankly, he might just be the bravest man I ever met. But we're here to talk about your ten years, Giovanni, not mine. Oh, there isn't much to say. My faith in God and my love for my daughter got me through the... through the... The long night? The long night. <laughs> So, how'd it go with Maria? It went well, but the search for any answer reminds me of how many more questions I have. Like what? I have been considering my gender, and I believe it's time I decide upon my preferred pronouns. Okay, cool. Uh, what are you thinking? I'm not sure. I am not troubled by she and her, yet perhaps they and them are a better fit for me? The whole point is for you to decide what fits you best. Hmm. Aside from the fact that I am the sum of both Gabrielle and Motherbox, I feel my true gender is non-binary. Neither just female, nor just male. So, I believe I prefer... they. <laughs> That's great! World, allow me to introduce you to Violet Harper. They are the best person I know. Hello, world. <laughs> nice to meet you. <laughs> no, I think not. Though the crisis with child has passed, I believe we should leave our valued assets here, where they may be kept safe against the next crisis. 
Inevitably, another one always seems to be coming down the pike. Have Simon confirm that the Cybacks are all intact. Update the inventory, then seal this chamber, making certain I have the only key. And be quick about it. Our focus must turn to Project Threeness. As of now, it is our sole priority. Forager looks back on Forager's journey to Class Valedictorian. Forager sees Forager's greatest lessons came not only from Forager's books and teachers, but also from Forager's identity as Fred Bug with two G's. Forager was once just a frightened larva foraging for friendship and a future far from home. To blend in among the Earth Trones, Forager became Fred Bug with two G's. Eventually, Forager felt Fred Bug with two G's was a lie and a problem. But problems can be lessened, and this lesson taught Forager that Fred Bug with two G's was actually Forager's pupa stage, readying Forager to metamorphosize into a new Bug with one G, a true outsider, proudly standing up and out for all of Forager's Earth Hive. So now, Forager gratefully urges his happy Harbor High School Hive graduating class to learn from Forager's lesson of G's, both two and one. Stand up, stand out, metamorphosize, and forage the future! It was ten years ago today. Of course. Robin and Kid Flash and I did something rather stupid. Something that nevertheless, I have spent a decade regarding with overweening pride. We rescued Superboy from Cadmus. Created something that became a turning point in my life. The team. And now, ten years later, so many of my teammates have paid the price of my hubris. Tula is dead. Jason is dead. Wally is dead. Connor is dead. These are sorrows I must come to terms with. If I am ever to return to the life I have led. Every candidate up here would make a fine recruit into our new Justice League reserves. Oh, and I couldn't find any clear pictures of them. But the recruitment committee should also consider Peacemaker, Etrigan the Demon, and the Phantom Stranger. Plus, in a real planetary crisis, Russia has more rocket reds. And China has, well, whatever it is they're not telling us they have. Orin and Diana have both indicated that Atlantis and Themyscira are potential untapped resources, too. We've barely scratched the surface in either kingdom. Same for Geranium City, perhaps. We also want to create cooperative plans of action with Mars and maybe Thanagar. And, if Rocket's negotiations go as hoped, with New Genesis and Oa as well. The real question is Markovia. There are heroes there, but can we be certain Geoforce and his Infinitors will abide by Justice League standards? Last thing we want or need is for a reserve mission to cost us the trust we've worked so hard to build. Today is Flash's birthday, so ring the birthday bell. Time to tap antennae upon the birthday shell. Today is Flash's birthday, bugs know just what to do. Forage birthday grubs eggs, and foragers will too. Today is Flash's birthday, great time to be alive. And to celebrate Jay with every bug in hive. <laughs> yes, with every bug in hive. <laughs> 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 That is not how it was before. But soft. <laughs>
What light through yonder window breaks? The light is the east, and forager is the sun. Arise, fair sun, and kill the envious moons. Moons already sick and pale with grief that forager, the moon's maid, are far more fair than the moons. Be not the moon's maid, since the moons are envious. The moon's vestal livery is but sick and green, and none but fools do wear the moons in the fool's vestal livery. Cast the moons in the fool's vestal livery off. Forager is forager's lady. Oh, forager is forager's love. Oh, that forager knew forager was. <clears throat> forager speaks, yet forager says nothing. What of that nothing? Forager's eye discourses. Forager will answer forager's eye. Forager is too bold. Tis not to forager forager speaks. Two of the fairest stars in all the heaven, having some business do entreat forager's eyes to twinkle in forager's eyes' spheres till the stars return. Doubt, Forager, the stars are fire. Doubt that the sun doth move. Doubt truth to be a liar. But never doubt, Forager loves. Oh, dear Forager, Forager is ill at these numbers. Forager has not far to reckon Forager's groans. But that forager loves forager best, oh most best. Believe that forager loves forager best. Adieu, foragers evermore most dear forager. This so-called Kaiser Thron is indeed sentient. In fact, there seems to be the remnants of a humanoid inside this machine. It's incredible, and not a little horrifying. The results are in. Let me see. I'm reading a mail. Approximate age, 11 Earth years. Yes, by the Guardians. This is a human boy, a child, from Earth. And I believe it, he is trying to communicate. No further ado, allow me to introduce Justice League Chairman Black Lightning and United Nations Secretary General Troyer. Thank you, Catherine. The Justice League is pleased to announce that the construction on our brand new Hall of Justice is scheduled to begin this spring, here on Justice Island. Right across from the United Nations, which welcome the League as neighbors and hope this represents a brand new era of partnership between their organization and ours. And so we dedicate this site to that partnership. Together. Together. It's about time!
Get ready, everyone. The bride's about to throw the bouquet. And the lucky lady is... Icicle Junior. Okay, did not see that coming. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, it's time for the newlyweds' first dance as a married couple. So please clear the dance floor. Or don't. If they want to dance 16 feet in the air, who are we to say no? <laughs> what, 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 what was that? 